Russia has redeployed about 50,000 troops to its Kursk Oblast, weakening its position on the battlefield in Ukraine. Oleksandr Sersky, commander-in-chief of the armed forces of Ukraine said this. Sersky noted that the Russians had transferred these forces from other fronts where they had been conducting offensive operations. We know that about 50,000 troops from other areas have been redeployed to the Kursk front, he added. The commander-in-chief emphasized that these actions by the Russian Federation have led to the weakening of Russian forces in other areas, particularly on the Zaporizhia, Kherson, and Kramatorsk fronts. This, of course, made it easier for us to conduct defensive operations, he said. The Ukrainian leadership said that one of the key goals of the operation was to divert Russian forces from Ukrainian battlefields. Sersky's figure is an increase from President Volodymyr Zelensky's estimation from September 19, when he said that 40,000 troops had been diverted to the Kursk sector. Even though Ukrainian forces continue to hold Russian territory in Kursk Oblast, the Russian offensive keeps grinding on in Ukraine's east. The Ukrainian military was recently forced to withdraw from Volodar, a town in the south of Donetsk Oblast that has withstood Russian attacks for two years. Heavy battles are also ongoing in Chasev Yar and Toritsk in Donetsk Oblast, and Russian troops are closing in on a key logistics hub in Pokrovsk. In the meantime, Russia seeks to dislodge Ukrainian troops from its home turf in Kursk Oblast, attacking Ukraine salient from the west. The main intelligence department of the Ukrainian Defense Ministry has released images showing the launch of the Bober drone to attack the Tkonskaya military airfield located near the city of Makop in the Russian Republic of Adygea. An explosion and fire occurred at the airfield as a result of a strike by a Ukrainian-made long-range drone. It should be noted that the incident took place on the night of October 10. The operation was carried out by the General Intelligence Service, the Security Service and Special Operations Forces of Ukraine. L-39 training aircraft, Su-30, Su-34, Su-35 and MiG-23 fighters are located at the airfield, which is the location of the 272nd Training Aviation Base. Ukraine's military struck a base storing Iranian Shahid-type drones Russia uses for daily attacks against Ukraine near the village of Oktyabrsky in Russia's Kranidar Krai, the general staff reported. About 400 attack drones were reportedly stored at the Russian base. According to the statement, the attack was carried out by Ukraine's navy and units of the security service of Ukraine. The subsequent detonation was recorded after the attack, the general staff said. According to the results of objective control, an accurate hit on the target was recorded, the military said, without elaborating on the scale of the damage. The destruction of the Shahid drone storage base will significantly reduce the ability of the Russian occupiers to terrorize civilians in Ukrainian cities and villages, the general staff added. The propeller-driven, satellite-guided Shahid, developed by Shahid Aviation Industries in Iran, is one of Russia's main weapons for deep strikes on Ukrainian cities. Since acquiring the first Shahids from Iran in 2022, Russia has launched more than 8,000 of the explosive drones. According to a tally by Defense News, the Ukrainians have destroyed 91% of all incoming Shahids since March. But 9 out of 100 get through, striking homes and businesses with their 110-pound warheads, maiming and killing indiscriminately. 
Nearly 600 Ukrainian civilians died and 2,700 were injured in Russian strikes in the three months ending on August 31. Blowing up 400 Shahids should blunt the pace of Russian strikes. Destruction of the storage base of the Shahid will significantly reduce the opportunity of Russian occupiers to terrorize civilian residents of Ukrainian cities and villages, the general staff in Kiev stated. Forbes says that Moscow can always acquire more of the drones from Tehran. It's also producing copies at a factory in Tatarstan in eastern Russia. The Kremlin paid $1.7 billion, partially in gold, to secure the license for local assembly of up to 6,000 shahids. How the Ukrainians struck that drone stash is unclear. The general staff attributed the raid to the Ukrainian military and counterterrorism ministry. Oktyabrsky is just 140 miles from the front line in eastern Ukraine, placing it within range of a wide array of Ukrainian munitions.